Hi, right, this is a brief demonstration of using Autodesk Inventor building a supermodel um, via iLogic rules and using sheet metal. Here's all the rules here. Let's see how many we have. 227 lines of code. This is still the early stages of this model. Um, there's going to be quite a bit more code to generate uh, file names and such. This model is entirely sheet metal and tube stock. You can see the folded sheet metal here. You can go to the flat pattern. Um, there is no drawings as of yet. And we have a frame network for the two railings. The railings can come and go um, via this set of uh, commands here. And you can see the railing parts here. The, the railings are all frame generator generated. And these sheet metal parts are fully configurable through the model. This model is designed to be configured just through the overall height and width. Either one will change the model. Let me see if I change this to 24 and hit apply. And there you go. At 24 inches, OSHA states that there is no railings needed, so there is no rails. Now if I were to go to, say, 36.5, any height can be entered between the min-max. And let's see, if we go to 35 on the width and hit apply. And there you go again. The only reason there are two brackets here is because this is set to both. If I set this to auto and hit apply again, there you have it again. The right railing is gone because OSHA specs require that there be a railing at this height over four steps. OSHA wants to see a railing on the right hand side going down. So left hand from the bottom looking up. And all the holes for the rail um, get plugged up automatically. If you were to open this and check out the flat pattern, no openings there. And the other one, of course, has the openings there. Next is the drawings, but this is just a demonstration of, of how iLogic works on sheet metal. These are all sheet metal as well. The holes multiply as this gets wider. I don't know if you've seen that. The X braces back here change size and all the drawings will update to reflect that. Uh, it's better practice not to have to have as few drawings as possible, do everything electronically, but um, this particular company needs drawings for everything, so there will be automatically generated drawings. Um, this stairway represents every stairway of this type for all of their product lines. It's just placed over and over using place iLogic component and it generates a part list and off you go. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration.